up guys, it's Skill up here with another Division video. This is my weekly should I buy it, a look at what are the vendors selling, should you buy it, and if you do buy it, how do you mod it? Now I do these videos every single week and have done since pretty much the launch of the game. And it's been pretty easy to do them up to this point because most of the vendor stuff has been pretty rubbish. There hasn't been many vendors selling things. They sold very little high level stuff. And uh, when they did sell it, it wasn't particularly exciting most of the time. That is completely different in patch 1.4. Now there are like 50,000 vendors that sell stuff. They all sell max level stuff, which means there's so much actual good loot available each reset that the whole format of this show is gonna have to change. So what's it gonna be? Well, instead of listing everything that's for sale, I'm only gonna list things that are actually good. I'm gonna skip around to every single vendor that is available in the division. That is everything in the base of operations, down at Camp Hudson, all of the safe houses, all of the checkpoints, the dark zone, and all of the dark zone safe houses to arrive at a complete look at everything that is worth purchasing that week. Now, after I've done my weekly look at uh, what the vendors are selling, I would typically tell you how to mod one weapon. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to drop that from this segment. Truth is that it's just gonna take too long for me to go through all of the vendors and then also talk about how to mod something properly. The modding thing itself takes a good sort of five to six minutes to do it right. And, uh, and I just don't want the video to go that long because you know not everyone has that amount of time. So what I'm actually gonna be doing is I'm gonna set up a separate series of videos that cover how to mod weapons. Uh, and you'll see those rolling out over the coming weeks. But uh, yeah, it will not be bundled up into the weekly vendor reset. They will be separate videos. Anyway, that is how the format of this uh, this weekly segment is gonna work going forward. And with that, let's get stuck into it. At the base of operations, at the weapons vendor that no one has spoken to since launch, this guy this week is selling a 5.52 holo sight with crit hit chance, optimal range and crit hit damage. Great combination of stats. Well done, this guy. The dark zone gear mod vendor, someone we also haven't spoken to in forever, is selling a custom M44 with commanding, destructive and cool headed. Uh, this is a very good weapon. I would absolutely roll away commanding, but uh, cool headed has always been very, very strong. Destructive is probably one of the best PVE damage talents in the game. And the M44 is a pretty decent weapon these days. So yeah, check that one out. He's also selling a uh, smart cover duration performance mod for anyone that's still using smart cover. It's still not bad. So, you know, there's still reason to use it. Uh, it's got also got an angled grip red with stability, optimal range and reload speed, which would be very nice on an assault rifle, given the fact that they need lots of stability. The advanced weaponry vendor, this guy. So he is selling cool stuff now. First of all, the Pecan, I'm not going to talk about this in too much detail. The Pecan, the Cassidy and Centurion are all named weapons. I'm going to do separate videos on them later. But the long story short is that the Pecan is excellent. Uh, swift, destructive and ferocious. You would roll away swift for something better and uh, be left with a very, very good weapon. So do pick that up if you don't have anything better. Cassidy, given the fact that it's a double barrel shotgun isn't particularly great and its talents aren't awesome either. So give that a miss. Centurion, same sort of deal. Not amazing talents on that one. But yeah, so what I would really want to point your attention to with this one though is this guy, this military M60E4 with uh, meticulous, capable and brutal. So meticulous works extremely well on an M60. By the way, M60s are awesome. One of the best weapons in the game right now. Meticulous is great because it means you pretty much never have to reload them. Capable, you would roll away because you don't need that much weapon stability on an M60. And brutal is of course excellent, really nice in that third slot. I would absolutely recommend getting this if you don't have a better M60 and simply roll away capable, you'll be very happy with the results. As for the suppressor this week, he's got a tyrant suppressor with crit hit chance, stability and headshot damage. Really excellent. Cannot recommend that one more highly. Uh, it's just fantastic, particularly on things like an SMG. He's got a small grip red with crit hit damage, stability and reload speed. Also works on SMGs really well. And the final one he has here is stability, accuracy and critical hit damage scope not too shabby at all. Alrighty, so downstairs in the terminal, the special equipment vendor, this guy has got like the biggest haul in the world. Um, I recommend looking at this tactical Vector 45 ACP. It's got brutal, fierce and adept on it. You'd roll away adept. Now the thing is the uh, Vector just isn't what it used to be. I'm not gonna lie, it's not a particularly strong weapon, but for those of you that really like using SMGs because they're fun, 
this is definitely a good one, so do check it out. What I would really strongly recommend looking at is this Police MK17. Now, this is one of the SCAR H variants of the uh, Marksman rifles, which are now one of the strongest uh, PVE weapons in the game. Just from a throughput perspective, they are truly incredible. This one rolls with prepared, which is uh, perfect for this given that you're typically using it at long ranges. Brutal, which is great because marks and rifles are all about headshot damage and dominant. Every kill performed while your signature skill is active reduces your cooldowns by the skills. You would absolutely roll that away and it's fantastic because it's in the third slot. So whatever you get in that third slot is going to be free, which means that if you want something like skilled, for instance, which has a really high electronics requirement, you can get that down there instead. So look, fantastic top tier marksman rifle fantastic talents, free third slot to work with, really, really good. Do check that one out. Now, the other thing you'll notice here is that this guy is selling a whole bunch of gear sets. I mean, he's selling all the gear sets, really. Uh, and rather than go through all of them, I'm not, I won't do that because it's not really valuable. What you need to do is you need to look at which pieces you are waiting on. You need to look at, you know, whether these stat rolls work for you. So for example, Lone Star Gloves here, they have shotgun damage, health on kill damage to elites. That's a really nice roll for Lone Star Gloves gloves because of the fact that it can be a very shotgun focused build if you want to go down that path or maybe you want to change that to LMG damage and when you in which case you've got a perfect set of gloves for yourself so you kind of have to look through this stuff yourself but uh, but just know that he does have a whole bunch of gear sets that you can get uh, so do check those out when you get a chance he's also selling a uh, prototype performance mod support station duration no big deal but uh, the thing I really want to point out is this thing this t2 micro red dot sight tan with headshot damage crit hit chance crit hit damage that's awesome that's like a perfect roll on a uh, on a site I would absolutely pick that up if you can afford it and yeah that's that guy so do check him out he's got tons and tons of good loot for you this week so the special blueprints vendor also in in the terminal this week is selling a military L86 LSW blueprint. Uh, sadly, the L86 is no more. It was pretty much the best LMG in the game last uh, patch. Now it is, I'm probably going to be a little bit sort of, yeah, it's trashed here. Like it's a really, really bad weapon right now. So uh, don't pick this up, not worth it. What is great though is the SCAR H. This is that marksman rifle I spoke about before. Um, this is a fantastic blueprint because it's one of the best weapons in the game. Uh, it only costs, you know, seven weapon parts and four tools to make one. So you could just roll quite a few of these until you eventually get the role that you want uh it's you know it's it would be great i mean you, you could buy the one i just spoke about or you could pick up a blueprint and keep rolling for something better if you wanted it but uh that's the option that you have uh as for the blueprints that he's selling for mods you can see here reload speed reduced threat and accuracy uh we've got firearms and stamina and i'll make clear these are level 33 bl um, mod blueprints so they're they're new uh they were not here before they're level uh, 32 before now they're level 33 so these are upgrades for you do pick them up and craft quite a few of them because you do get a fair amount of power out of your gear mods and the rest of it I wouldn't recommend downstairs in the underground the only thing that's worth purchasing are uh, stuff that I think will be there each week as it was last patch as well Fancy's shadow knee pad blueprints and firecrest knee pad blueprints they're the 229 uh, blueprints I think they're the only 229 gear score blueprints available in the game right now for uh, gear set items but yeah they're available if you want them check it out other than that his weapons are not great this week turning now to the safe houses the wolves den safe house which is in the top left hand corner of the map this guy is selling a uh he's selling a mod he's selling a high velocity magazine with critic chance mag size and rate of fire not bad at all at camp hudson which is that starting area that you would have gone to at the beginning of the game but never returned to since they're selling uh this week a very nice mod it's a high velocity magazine crit hit chance crit hit damage and reload speed perfect for an smg at the last call safe house which is down the bottom of the map uh right here you'll see this person here is selling a fantastic suppressor it is a, a tyrant suppressor with crit hit chance headshot damage and critical hit damage perfect roll on that one at southpaw which is right here on the map uh you'll see this guy here is actually selling an electronics mod that has an armor roll on it this is really nice it's a level 33 not many people will spec into electronics heavily but i certainly need to use one or two electronics mods to equip tal also to get weapon talents working uh and i definitely want armor rolled on top of that because armor is so efficient right now so do check this one out it's uh yeah it's very nice indeed turning now to the dark zone 
Milestone checkpoints at uh, East 46th Street, which is right here. This guy is selling a spectacularly well-rolled Vector. It's got uh, Brutal and Deadly and Adept in the third slot, which means you can roll it away for whatever you like. Uh, it sort of breaks my heart to see a well-rolled Vector on sale at this point, given the fact the Vector is not great anymore. But hey, if you really love Vectors, there it is. At East 42nd Street, located right here, this guy is selling this week a... Uh, he's selling a really nice Spec Ops armor uh, 229 piece. Now, it's got Reckless on it. Now, a lot of people don't like Reckless. I actually do like Reckless. I think that trading 8% extra damage for 10% extra damage taken is a pretty good deal. I don't use it all the time, but I certainly do sometimes. This one has damage to elites and armor on it, which is great. It just means I, I can re-roll this electronics away to either stamina or firearms as I see fit. And there we go. So do check that one out. Not bad at all. We have a prototype, the prototype performance mod here, level 33, first aid, self heal. One of the better performance mods that you can get, given the fact that most of us or many of us are still going to be running with first aid. This one works quite well. At the West 31st Street checkpoint, there's a really nice pair of star tactical gloves which have rolled savage on them, stamina base, health on kill, damage to elites, and critical hit damage. Now, uh, Savage is actually one of the best talents in the game right now. Four piece bonuses aren't what they used to be, so it's far more likely for people to be running three piece, two piece, one piece Savage or Reckless. Uh, and in which case, if you don't have yourself a good pair of Savage gloves, I do recommend checking this one out. At the West 34th Street vendor, this guy is selling, or this lady, excuse me, sorry, ma'am. She's selling a uh, prototype electronics mod with, uh, it's a level 33 version, base electronics and 2,473 skill power. So any of those of you looking to go really deep into skill power, this is a great mod for that. At West 42nd Street, uh, we've got a really fantastic firearms mod here here. It's a uh, base firearms. It's 263 armor on top of that. Uh, generally speaking, you always want armor on your uh, on your mods, given how powerful armor is. And you know, obviously, many of you will be sort of going deep into firearms. A few firearms mods thrown in there. You could do a lot worse than this one. I definitely take a look at it if you get the chance. The Dark Zone gear mod vendor this week is selling only two things, which seems a bit weird to me. But anyway, we'll come back to that later. A prototype performance mod. Uh, sorry, prototype firearms mod here with. Uh, base firearms and armor on that very nice this is sort of exactly what you want the dark zone weapon mod vendor which is uh this guy right here in uh dz which dz is this this is dz5 so he's selling the uh heavy magazine spring which is crit hit damage crit hit chance and rate of fire which is really nice especially for an smg uh the other thing he's worth is looking at that's worth looking at sorry is the mk5 scope it's the 15 times to the max zoom scope really great for marksman rifles it's got headshot damage, crit hit damage, and accuracy, you know, all of which are really fantastic on marksman rifles. Really well rolled scope. Do check it out when you get a chance. And finally, the Dark Zone special vendor in Dark Zone 6, at the very top of the map, he's selling uh, a whole bunch of different gear sets. They're all 229. Uh, you know, as I said, have a look through these yourself. See what you might need. If you need a striker's pack, cool, great, grab it. If you don't, then fair enough. It's all up to you. But uh, but yeah, just have a look and see what works for you. There's a, there's a bit of a selection there. And that's it, guys. That's Should I Buy. It's taken me a bloody long time to uh, go around to all of these vendors. There's a whole bunch that I didn't even list here, but I visited every single one to make sure there was nothing worth talking about. I can tell you that uh, we got all the good stuff here. Guys, if you like this video, please do drop it a like and uh, of course, you can subscribe for end-to-end -end division coverage. I've got tons of videos planned for patch 1.4. Very excited about all of those. And of course, we'll start hearing about survival very soon. Patch 1.5. Cannot wait for that. For now, guys, thanks for watching. Take good care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.